Well, it's back. Big Red Beast. 20 amp. Capable Variac. I think I bought it for like 75 bucks. And I'm kind of sorting out how I want to be with the, uh, the power supplies. I don't have a lot of room here. And I have to give up camera access to the track, which doesn't really that matter, uh, to give myself a little more space. But I've ordered a bunch of blocks and a bus so I can start cleaning up the wire mess. You know, and I want to make it to where I can switch either from the Variac or to one of the MTH transformers so I can run the modern stuff with the MTH transformers and my old Line L stuff, you know, with this. Now, you may or may not have paid attention to my channel, you know. But I originally got this here because I was running multiple locomotives on my track. I had an uphill. And when the amperage started getting around 6 amps, the uh, KW transformer I had at the time started popping its uh, circuit breaker. It was more than it could handle. We could handle it for a short period of time, but continuous, it would, it would bust, you know, that uh, circuit breaker. Well, then I got a bunch of these. I got like four of them, three of them I used. And they can handle almost eight amps. Seven amps is what they're rated for, but they can almost handle eight. And I used them for, for that for that purpose. Plus I wanted to have vintage line L, right? And uh, so I put a couple of them away. I drug this thing out because if I don't use it, it'll just sit there and collect dust and never get used. It needs a chance to shine, right? So that's going to handle... A little trolley track. I got some work to do on it yet too, on the wiring. This, this is all going to go away at some point. It's going to handle the lower track, which will be mostly conventional Lionel type locomotives. Either this or an MTH is going to handle the upper track. That's where we're going. And uh, now that I have a little space, I figure I'll put the junction box blocks a little bit out of sight. You know, for example, I've got all these tracks, the ground coming to uh, one terminal. Well, if I have a bus, I can bring them to the bus and then one wire to this terminal is how we're going to be going on that. So anyway, progress. So let's see whether or not this works. I just kind of stuck it together and. uh Right, and I have a switch. Make sure it's off, because that thing can really put out the amperage. Now, one of the things I'm going to get—that's the other thing I've decided. I'm kind of deciding where I want my uh, gauges so I can see them. So, one of the things that I get with this Variac is notice the voltage, right?
so I have more control of how I accelerate and deaccelerate the train with uh, this system here because even at the lower voltages, it'll crank out the amps if it's required. Now those pull mowers, I mean, if you look, you've got to get up to seven volts almost anyway. There's six. All right, a little more. So it came to a stop at around 7 volts. So that's good. I mean, if you look at this transformer, I'll start turning it on. It goes immediately to 7 volts. See how it just drops right off? It goes, there's no way of getting down into the five, six, four, you know, those lower voltages. It goes directly from seven to zero. There's no six, five, four, three, two, one. Where this one right here, um, I can basically dial up whatever I need for voltage, starting at one volt and working my way up. Now, on these old line L's, that may not matter. But on like Williams, those ones I've been running, actually that makes a difference. Not that I'm going to run the the more sophisticated new trains with this, because let me tell you what, if I have a short, something's going to fry. I did put a circuit breaker in. I'm going to put another one in. I want one that runs a little bit faster. This one right here is is rated at eight amps. Um, and I also have a fuse, so I've got two circuit breakers that's a fast blow fuse by the way and uh, i want to adjust that so i minimize possible damage um, because like i said this thing will crank 20 amps out <laughs> but i like the control i mean these are cheap i think what i'm going to do is replace this with a 10 amp i don't need 20 amps i mean i'll keep it don't get me wrong but uh, i might get a 10 amp variac and then run that on one of the other tracks to see how that operates, especially with those can motor locomotives, you know, that actually can run at the lower voltages. So that's where we are now. So let's see what happens when I run this with the pig here, the guinea pig. Now I still have that little guy on the other end, and he can't make enough drag or push to matter much. But you might hear him spinning back there. So you'll hear it move. I'm going to start cranking volts into it to see what happens.
So we got down to five, five volts before the thing stopped. And I can't do that with this transformer because like it did before, watch. Bam. It jumps right to... That's the lowest voltage I can get out of this one. Just drops like a rock. So anyway, I figured that's an update. Made a little more space. Got a, a bunch of these blocks coming so I can clean this mess up. And I want to come up with a combination of insulation and switching concept for the uh, MT8 so it's not subjected to this thing here.